It's Wave. <laughs> Hi, it's Wave. And we all know about language apps. They're great, some aren't. But I found this one that was really interesting. It's called Language Transfer. So Language Transfer is a free app developed by this guy who was just irritated about how people are learning the languages in general because usually just by a textbook but in real life conversation that's not how you actually talk to somebody he created the app which is non-profit basically audio lessons depending on how many they have for each language like there's French, Italian, Spanish and I believe there's English and Arabic what he has is that for each lesson he actually explains about what they're going to talk about, but also he has an actual student who's actually learning the language. So you get a full experience of not just learning yourself, but also someone else that's going through the same thing you are. It feels more intimate knowing that you're not the only one who's struggling with the language because you actually hear the person who's trying to learn language mess up and then trying to pronounce it and trying to form it in their heads of how to translate the language and all that. So that was pretty interesting. So I went for Spanish because I'm trying to learn Spanish. When I was learning how to get better at my Spanish because I can't speak it fluently and I wanted to be able to speak to my relatives. So how I discovered the app is that there was this YouTuber talking about um, good Spanish tips and she actually talked about the app and I never heard about it until I got to her page. And so I decided to download the app and give it a go. So for Spanish, they had 90 lessons. And my system was that since there's 90 lessons, I break it down to one audio session per day. So if you break down uh, 30 days being one month and there's 90, divide that, you get three months. That didn't exactly go to plan. And I'll tell you why later. Generally, one audio lesson turns out to be 7 minutes to 11 minutes, depending on which lesson that you're on. So it was doable, especially if you do it once a day. And then you slowly work your way up. So with that, I did that. I would sometimes listen to the audio that first day and then repeat it again the next day, just to get a more coherent understanding of it because in the morning sometimes I'll get it right away, sometimes I didn't, and he actually even said in the audio lessons, each lesson gets harder and harder, which is generally how things are. You start small and then you work your way up. So once you get a better understanding in the beginning, then you add a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, until you get more comfortable with it. Once it got to be like the second half month, I ended up going on a family vacation that wasn't planned, it was just spare on the moment. So I knew I wasn't going to be able to listen to the lessons. So I ended up taking like a week or two break or something like that. And after that, I ended up getting sick after the vacation. So I definitely put the app on hold for a bit. Once I got my health back in order, I was able to finish the whole entire Spanish lessons in five months instead of three. So, did this app make me become fluent in Spanish? No. But what it did was, it gave me a better understanding and actually helped me up and set me up for success later on as I got more and more into Spanish. Because even my friend even noticed that I was getting better, even those little increments at a time. And also me trying to figure things out and try other things and challenges. The pros of this app is that it's free. And because it's just audio lessons and nothing visual, it may be odd for some people. I actually like it because the fact that I get to hear them actually teach the lesson, explain it, but also have a student as well learning at the same time as I am. It was interesting to kind of get the feedback of just, I mean, talking to myself of saying it before the person or even after and learning that is like, hey, I got this right. And whereas I didn't, and I heard them actually get it right, I'm just like, oh, okay, I can see why this happened. The cons of it is that if you want to learn other languages, they are limited. Uh, another thing I had an issue with is that it was working great of 
going to the next lesson because when you're done, it automatically moves you to the next lesson and basically I'll pause and stop it for the day. But what happened was, is when I updated the app, it started to glitch out. One of the issues I was having was that it would not buffer and let me go into the session. So I ended up having to download it and then when I was done, delete it. And that took a little bit like 10 15 minutes to download. So that was a nuisance. It had me use this app longer than I intended to. Another downside, it could be that the time that you download the app, it probably has glitches or maybe it doesn't anymore. But that's something to keep in mind because it's nonprofit, they don't have somebody working on the app 24 seven. Um, they say you can actually donate and support it. That way they continue to expand and all that, which is uh, great. But if you don't have the funds to donate, they understand. So don't expect it to be a great alternative to other uh, language apps that are paid and all that. Um, a downside could be if you if you want a visual thing like Duolingo or Blue Show, this is not the app for you. It's only audio only. So would I recommend this app? Yes. Since it's free, it's, it's not going to hurt you. All it is, it just takes your time of just a few minutes a day just to go through the sessions and just practice on your own time. That is something that he also stresses about. Practice on your own time. Even practice as they're even teaching the lesson. That way you build muscle memory while speaking it. And also trying to like configure it inside your head. This is my review of the app. And if you guys like it, let me know in the comments. And let me know if you actually use the app. I'm really curious to see if it is improved or not. It's been a long time since I actually used the app. And that was like last year. And now I'm just filming it. In the meantime, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.